Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm a celebrity dating coach and considered a man whisperer. You might recognize me from E's Famously Single or MTV. I have so many clients who I call woodpeckers. And I'm wondering if you're also a relationship woodpecker. What I mean is, do you take a perfectly good relationship? It might not be amazing. It might not, not even be great, but it's good. It's healthy. It's solid. It makes you feel good and happy. And you take this good, fine relationship and you start pecking at it, poking holes in this solid foundation. Any little thing, peck, 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 constantly. And, and your partner feels like you're constantly poking them, trying to cause fights, trying to point out the littlest, littlest, littlest flaws. And maybe the reason why you do this is because these little things are really annoying you and you don't know what to do about them and they're grating on you. And even though rationally you realize that they're really not that big of a deal, you decide to allow those little deals to become big deals and you poke these holes, making this foundation that was strong now weak, now brittle, now like Swiss cheese that could fall apart easily, instantly. And maybe you're doing it because in relationships past, there was a lot of drama and it was really unhealthy and it was not a good relationship, but you liked those highs and you kind of honestly liked those lows. You liked that, that, that ferocity. You liked those fights. You liked those meltdowns. You liked that heightened emotion. The problem is that you were taking heightened emotion for a feeling of love, but really it was adrenaline. It wasn't endorphins that are healthy. It was this crazy adrenaline that kept you constantly in this fight or flight energy. And that's not healthy. But when you come from a history of always being in this elevated in a negative way, and sometimes in a positive way, but in this elevated place, when you find this relationship that's calm, that's easy, that feels good, that feels nice, that doesn't make you question, that doesn't make you wonder if they're cheating or where they are or if they're being honest or if they're coming home or if they're hiding something or if they care about you or any of these other things because you just know. You know that they're there. You know that they care. You know that you're good. Well, suddenly you have this and you miss this. You miss that drama. You miss that craziness. You miss always having some crazy story. You miss when your friends ask you, how are you guys doing? You're like, oh my God. Instead of how are you guys doing? We're good. There's nothing really more to say, but we're good. You don't like to have that boring relationship because you're not used to it. The reality though is that that boring, happy, healthy relationship is good and it can be even better if you work at it being better. If you start watering that grass instead of like throwing bombs of acid into that grass just so that you can have fun explosive moments, well pretty soon that grass is going to be destroyed. So start watering it. Start suggesting fun activities if you feel like you're too stuck in an old routine. Start having special sexy nights, date nights. Start having sexy Wednesdays where every Wednesday you dress up in lingerie and you have a sexy evening and it's sort of a set thing that you both look forward to. Have a weekly night where you go out on the town somewhere and try a new museum or a new restaurant or a new hike or a new anything. Start becoming a team, a unit, a partnership and allow that to be what you are able to tell your friends and yourself. How are you guys? We're really good. This week we did this and we did that and we had our sexy night on Wednesday and we're good. Stop woodpecking. And if there are lots of little issues that you have, then why don't you look at what the actual underlying issue is? Because chances are all of those little ones are based on one thing, on one feeling, on one concept that you can address as a, you know what, I've been feeling like um, 
sometimes you don't make me the priority because you do this. And these are the little things that are examples of that. And I just like to address it. And you address it in a non-emotional way that is productive so that you can make change, so that you can fix that one small flaw in the relationship. Because the reality is no relationship is perfect. None. Not one. No relationship is perfect. Basically, you are looking to find the relationship that is as good as it can be. Because you're not perfect, okay? I am not perfect. No one is perfect. So therefore, the relationship's not going to be perfect. So you're taking two imperfect people. Stop expecting perfection out of them. And instead, allow yourselves to love the imperfections and to honor each other for who you are and then honor the relationship that you have. Stop trying to sabotage it. Stop trying to create an excuse to get out of it. Stop trying to create an excuse to go and find someone new and test someone else out. Because the reality is when you get into that new relationship, they're going to have their shit too. And then you're going to fight about something else and you're going to want to go and find someone else new. When is enough enough? Stop woodpecking your relationships and start working on them and strengthening them and allowing them to flourish and live and grow and be fun and happy and healthy and good. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can learn more about me and how to work with me as your dating coach at laurelhouse.com. Please follow me on Instagram at laurelhouse. And if you want to get immediate advice right now, then you can go to instantgo.com forward slash dating laurel. It's an app that you have to download. And um, when you download it, it doesn't mean that you're also going to become an advisor you'll see that there's a little sign that says, I just want some advice, basically. So you can go in there and then you can get advice immediately. And uh, I'm there for you, always. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.